You can fill a pool with anything you want, money, gold, coins, anything valuable really, but you must jump into it from 10 meters, till the 33 feet, and survive in order to keep what you filled it in with. What would you fill the pool up with? Kentucky Derby winning race horse jizz edit, I go to bed and wake up to 200 comments about horse jizz. Every furry's dream. You know what, I'm just impressed. He she may be rich, but they're absolutely never living that down. Their snap choice was horse jizz. I don't know what anyone will try and say to them, I'm almost entirely sure they're happy. Heavy water. It's barely any worse to jump into than regular water, and it sells for about 800 used per liter. A typical swimming pool is about 300,000 liters so I expect to pocket an easy 240 million used. Saffron. Ah. Very good. Saffron is more valuable than gold, and would be a totally survivable jump. Saffron is more valuable than gold by weight, but not by volume. I still feel like you'd be pretty rich off you had a pool full of saffron. Saffron weighs around 142.02 grams liter, density of saffron. Op didn't specify what kind of pool, but given it has a 10 meters diving board I think it's fair to assume it's an Olympic-sized pool, which has a volume of 3,125,001 liters. This gives you 443,812,642 grams of saffron. A gram of saffron sells for anywhere from $6.79 to $8.29 for the fancy stuff. So you'd be looking at $3,013,487,839 to $3,679,206,802. So yes, you'd be incredibly rich. You'd basically have your own saffron empire, worth somewhere between $3.013 billion and $3.679 billion. Some currency conversions for Nonus Redditors like me, Euro, 2.67 BN to 3.26 BN GBP, 2.38 BN to 2.90 BN Indian Rupees, 209.5 BN to 255.8 BN. However, wouldn't the sudden appearance of a swimming pool's amount of saffron totally oversaturate the market and cause the price to drastically lower? Absolutely. If I have time later I may update to add the world's total saffron supply, and see how an extra 444,000 kilograms of saffron would dilute the value of that industry. But I should be working right now, and I've already procrastinated enough. We don't deserve you. Thanks. I looked it up, and the saffron industry is worth us dollar 645. 9 meters, so I imagine us dollar 3 bn worth of saffron simply appearing out of nowhere would probably drive the market into total chaos. Edit, F for my inbox. Well, it's only 21 when I looked, but yeah I put with that so I'll make an edit to respond to the most common thing, you can't keep saffron forever. I don't know if dry freezing would reduce the quality, but if it does you would kinda have to sell it all fast, otherwise it'll go off. I stopped using sawdust when it turned out saffron was cheaper. Straight gold, laid like cement to maximize the amount. Die fast or live hard. Will you use the gold to make matching gold-plated wheelchair and feeding tube? Survival rate for 7 to 12 meters is okay last time I checked. Tuck and roll, you'll probably break your legs but save your head. I'll take the risk and break my arms instead. Perfluorocarbon, breathable liquid. It's incredibly expensive. Holy crap 18,005 milliliters. How about some expensive sugar? Hashtag X200B, edit, yeah guys, I know this isn't the best choice, both because of the fall and because you'll saturate the market with the first shovelful you take out of the pool. I was mostly just trying to show that 1800 for 5 milliliters is not that crazy when it comes to specialized chemicals. Oh, that sugar. I thought you meant a different kind. My dad's cousin actually tried this once. He filled his backyard inflatable pool up with footballs, baseballs and tennis balls with his buddies. I think he thought it would act as a sort of ball pit and head slide straight in, but he jumped off his roof, bounced straight back out onto the patio, breaking nine ribs and collapsing his lung on his right side. He now lives in a bungalow, and spends his days eating cold custard by the tablespoon. Very strange guy. Did he keep the balls? It sounds like his ribs took most of the damage, so his balls were probably fine. 
This the rarest and most expensive textile is made from the wool of the vacua, a camelide, llama-like creature native to South America. About 2,000 USS per yard. It is also the lightest, softest, and warmest fabrics in existence. All these chumps that want to jump into $100 use notes. Jump into a pool filled with 1,000 Swiss franc notes. It's the largest easily available domination of paper currency, and does not have any real usage limits. Each note is worth a little over 1,000 used. Crumple up a bunch of them at the area you are going to land in, have stacks of fresh notes everywhere else. Deposit them into your new Swiss bank account afterwards. Lol edit, I didn't say the Singapore 10,000 note, because you have usage limitations, I remember there being a rule where you can only use two or three at a time. The Swiss franc is at least somewhat realistic. Edit 2, rip my inbox. What about paychecks? They can be any price you want even dollars But they have to be valid. A paycheck by itself is worth nothing. A pool full of cashable $1 million checks. At this point we're just playing scribble nuts. Well in that case maybe we can finally find out who would win in a fight between a Tyrannosaurus Rex and a $1 million check. Erasy 1, obviously the check, I mean you ever try to cash a T-Rex, the banks hate that. Printer ink. Pretty sure the fumes will kill you if nothing else. Am a printer, can confirm ink is lethal in large doses. Even the fumes can make a man infertile and can cause liver and respiratory issues. Holy shit a talking printer. Stop the presses. Don't. You'll kill him. Natalie Portman's. Portman. Instructions unclear, dived into a pool filled with dock workers. Watch out for Ziggy. Antimatter. I'll go out with a bang. Won't get to keep it but you won't get to keep your planet either. A pool full of antimatter would make a pretty big bang but would not destroy the earth. Let's assume you use anti-iron, since it's ferromagnetic and has a high density. A typical swimming pool has a capacity of about 300,000 liters. That's about 2,400 tons of anti-iron, for a total annihilated mass energy of 4,800 tons. By comparison, the Chicxulub impact released about 5,500 tons of mass energy. That would be disastrous for civilization as we know it, but it's not nearly enough to destroy the earth and probably not enough to end the human species. It would take about 2.3 trillion tons of mass energy to destroy the earth, equivalent to reacting a cube of anti-iron about 5.2 kilometers along each side. Very dense degenerate anti-neutronium, 4 1,017 kg M3, 1.5-1,021 kg to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool, ought to do the job, though that might be stretching Op's idea of anything a bit. This would be a very impressive explosion even without the antimatter annihilation part. I'm too lazy to do the math, degenerate matter, or antimatter, does not like existing, and must be convinced to do so with the liberal application of an incredible amount of gravity. Remove that, and it will express its displeasure with existing in general with a stupendous amount of violence. Degenerate matter, or antimatter, does not like existing, and will express its displeasure with existing in general with a stupendous amount of violence. Degenerate matter is my spirit animal. Based on my lifestyle one might even say I'm nothing more than a clump of degenerate matter. Someone should make an interactive animation that lets you pick a thing to jump into and then show some dude jumping into it and you could determine the best option that way based on whether or not you survive. Sounds like one of them mobile apps. Right now somebody is furiously typing away on a computer in some third world coding sweatshop for Zynga. I jumped off a 10 meters platform into water and it busted my shoulder and causes me chronic pain to this day, after 8 years. I'll pass. Jump into a pool of shoulders, pick and mix replacements. Jump into a pool of shoulders, get revenge. And bust your water. Cocaine. 10 meters. You'll feel like the fall didn't kill you, but it definitely did. If going that low doesn't kill you getting that high might. Assuming you survive the fall, I'm guessing you still landed with a thud only slightly embedded in cocaine, 
with the wind knocked out of you. So there you'd be, laying in a big cloud of cocaine and face mostly covered in powder. Ever had the air knocked out of you? Remember the gasp afterward. Some sort of high-priced clothing brand, like Gucci or something. Clothes that are probably soft enough to land in and be alright, and then I could sell it or something. Edit, rip inbox, your comments made me realize how little I thought this through. Gucci smart fridges edit, I got my first silver. Okay, this is epic. Alright Indiana Jones, calm down. 